into our mind. Okay, so something's not adding up about the route that we're going for this trail because. Continue on Shore Road west for two kilometres. I'm not doing this. Am I going to get eaten by a bear or something down here? It's okay. That was the one with the chair in. What was that? Welcome to Nova Scotia, the first stop on our road trip from Canada to Argentina. This is episode two. Birds are, birds are so nice. Like their nice. little song. They're so bloody noisy. Yeah, but their little song. What was uh, over there? Uh, uh. God, it was sound like that. <laughs> Good morning, guys. We have made it to the north coast now of Nova Scotia. We have, oh my word, we have left the west and we are now heading north. We're currently at the Bay of Fundy, which has the highest tides in the world. And I found out as well that Nova Scotia is one of the foggiest places in the world as well. And we've experienced both so far. Yes. So we're actually parked up outside a little town called Digby at the moment. So we'll show you on the map for those of you not familiar with Nova Scotia. This will help me as well. <laughs> Got Chris and Marianne to thank for this genius idea of the maps and the magnets. Okay, okay guys, as so. you can see, level. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, the whole of Canada, this is Nova Scotia just tucked onto the end here in the Maritime Provinces. We shipped into Halifax. We drove all along the south coast last week from Peggy's Cove down to the lighthouse here where we left you last week. We've now driven up the west coast and we're up here on Digby, which is on the north coast here, right in the Bay of Fundy, which like I said, has the highest tides in the world. And there's like whales here, humpback whales, sperm whales, apparently blue whales, but they don't see them very often. But yeah, we're gonna be doing, so this is Halifax, a figure of eight around Nova Scotia. So we're gonna be going here, and we're gonna come back down here, and then up to Cape Breton Island here and do the Cabot Trail, and then back back out into New Brunswick, and then into Maine for the fall. That's the plan. Does that make sense? Perfect sense. Now I know where we're going. So about 20 minutes from where we're parked up, there is a little village called Bear River. It's meant to be full of artists. It's this like small little community. It's also home to a lot of Mukamak people who are the First Nations people of Nova Scotia. And because the river that it's on is connected to the Bay of Fundy, it's a really strong tidal river and lots of the houses are built on stills. So it sounds like a really interesting place to go and have a little explore. Looks like the tide's out for the moment. So it's a really quiet little village. There's not a lot going on. There's a lot of artist workshops and a couple of coffee shops. It is so peaceful here. We've just found this really pretty walk along the river. So just up the road from here is a place called Le Sitcook, which is where a lot of the Muckamuck people come from. Um, and a lot of families come from here for like thousands of years. And it's from here that they have then gone and explored the rest of Nova Scotia, up to Cape Breton and the Bay of Fundy and stuff. And now it's like a cultural centre for them where they're preserving a lot of their languages, their heritage, their stories. So yeah, a very, very important place. So not far from here, there's a local swimming spot called Fred's Hole. Is that yes, right? Fred's yeah, Hole? Yeah. Now, we think we know how to get there, so we're going to go and try and find it because it means it's absolutely, it's about 25 degrees today, it's lovely and warm. So it's not on the map, is it? So. Yeah, it's not on the map, so we're going to go and try and find it. Hopefully, we're there early enough so no one else is there. So we're going to have a look. Mission to try and find the secret swimming spot begins now. That's it there. Ah, yeah. And there's the path down, so you can probably park up here. Look at this. Oh my God, this is like paradise. Someone's left a towel. Or they never made it out. Don't see that. Water looks really dark. I can't see the bottom. 
We've got to go in though. We can't not go in. This is such a beautiful spot. It's like from a film. This spot is absolutely incredible. It reminds me of something from Pocahontas. Right, one is hummus and balsamic glaze, and another is peanut butter and bananas. Guess whose is whose? But you didn't expect that. I think this is like easily one of the most beautiful places that like we've been. It is just like somebody has painted it. Like this is like my idea of like a perfect date. It is just gorgeous. Mm -mm. Yes, go. Is it your perfect date? No. Well, that was the best lunch ever. Could have stayed there all day. And I'm going to be really annoying and I'm not going to put the coordinates of this spot because it is a secret swimming spot for a reason. But I will tell you that it's called Fred's Hole and it's near Bear River. And half the adventure is finding it. So you'll probably find it with that information anyway. What a beautiful morning, eh? It was, yeah. Really enjoyed that. This one is knackered. No ratchets And some fish and chips. And some fish and chips, Ben. It would be rude not to. Scallops. Scallops. That's what I keep getting oysters and scallops mixed up. <laughs> Should we go and put our order in then? Yeah. Go on, I'll see you. Could I get um, the pan fried scallops, please? Scallops in a pan fried, and did you want that with mashed potato, baked potato, rice, or french fries? French fries, please. Okay. Get these noses away. There we go, fresh Digby scallop. That is one hell of a meaty scallop. It could be more garlicky. I mean, the scallop itself is really fresh, but it could be a bit better. That restaurant was so busy. There was a massive queue just to get a table. People getting takeout like us. So there's about a 10 person but, queue as well, wasn't there? Yeah, it's not. I wouldn't have it again, but the scallops are nice. Like they're really fresh. Never break a heart. But where I come from Slightly disappointed with that, I must admit But it's a beautiful evening And we're going to go for a little drive and see where we end up That'll never grow Oh, let the sun go down Who's that? We've got to go off-road again I've been off-road more times in Canada in a week Than I have with all my time in Turkey Gotta love it, though Where I come from. Okay, so we are at Point Prim and we're looking out into the Bay of Fundy and I'm pretty sure the tide comes all the way up these rocks and all the way up here. Back in 1913, a ship wrecked here and it split on the rocks and it spilled all of its cargo, which was a load of red bricks. And apparently, if you walk along the shore here, you can still find some red bricks. So that's what I'm searching for. Ben is patiently watching for some whales. 
Any luck with the whales? No, none at all, unfortunately. I can't find any bricks either. No. Hello, whales! Can you hear me? Do you know that if aliens were to come to Earth, they'd be more likely to be able to speak to whales because on a scale of like complexity of language, I think humans are like a six and whales are like a ten. Oh really? For how complex the language is, yeah. Oh. You watch them any minute now. That has to be a bit of red brick. Yes it is. I found it. This is from the wreck. Wow. That's closer to straws, isn't it? It's actually brick. Oh, it is, yeah. Well done. And this is from 18... Um, was it the 1883? 1913 one. 1913. The, like Donahue or something? Right, okay. Well done, there you go. Some salvage. 100 years old. Okay, sketchy. Okay, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't quite hang on, hang on, wait, 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 wait. So what a difference a day makes. We decided to come back last night to this old visitor centre. It's not the most scenic park up, but it is very, very handy. There's loads of space here, loads of space for the dogs to run around. There's other campers here. It's on the main road, so yeah, it's just nice and easy. But today we have to move on, and our main mission today is to go and get water. We're in desperate need of water. We haven't seen many fresh water fill-ups. The one that we came across last week at that laundrette was just by chance, and we haven't come across any since then, just by chance. We're thinking we might try a campsite that's literally just two minutes down the road and see if they'll let us fill up their fill up with water for like a small fee. We don't know, so we're gonna try that first, aren't we? Yep, and then we're gonna head off and leave this little visitor centre because if we don't we're gonna stay here forever. Now that little jig. Yes. So we're meant to be going on a hike today. Hopefully, if it clears, we can still do that later. But today the plan is, can you see that little bit of land across from this across the bay? That's where we're going to head today. That's where the hike is and that's where we've spotted a little beach park up. Hope we can get to it. And yeah, that's where we're going to head today. Somewhere different is nice, isn't it? Yeah. Please raise that out of this. I'm going to have to pay. She says if you just, if we're jumping as well, um, like black water, which we don't need to, she said pay. But if you're just getting water, she was like, it's just over here. Take what you need. Perfect. That's so kind of you. Thank you, Digby Campground. This one always loves to know what's going on, don't you, Scout? So although we've got a 70 litre fresh water tank, we also carry the life saver around, which is our filtered water, which is another 20 litres. So, so we have what, about 90 litres we carry with us and it lasts a good week which is perfect yeah it's washing us washing and drinking i thank you digby campground i did offer to pay twice but she was adamant we didn't so that's very, that's very good isn't it? really kind of it yeah we're not actually driving too far on at the moment because we've got to hang around this area because we're having some very exciting parcels delivered to a post office here so we've got to wait around until they get delivered but we will maybe tell you more about them later stopped so we thought we'd do that hike that we wanted to do this morning and it's ended up cutting us right across the middle of the little peninsula on the roughest road we've been on yet. <laughs> so Phil's handling it like a pro, Ben's doing an amazing job driving. It's just a lot of loose rock and then quite steep little kind of steps. the lift kit for and the all-terrain tyres for. It's for roads like this. Can't turn round. Okay, 
so something's not adding up about the route that we're going for this trail because this is just not even a road there's just it's covered in grass and plants and this seemed like a popular hike with a lot of reviews and people saying they do it with their dogs and the kids and it's a quick two and a half kilometer hike and we're literally just in the back country on these roads that are like not even roads and this is just more like a track you'd walk on because i've not i'm like have no signal now i don't want to go back the way we came really because those to, roads no way, were just there's no way back we have to go back that way you know this is what it's looking like now and i just don't want us to get stuck somewhere that we can't easily turn around we can't get down here this is way way too narrow am i going to get eaten by a bear or something down here I literally can't we're gonna have to reverse can you see ben's tucked in there no look at this i'm having to crouch to get through here I don't know if you can see, this is just hiking trails now. I think I'm gonna get Ben to squeeze in down there and then I'll get him to reverse in here. Okay, 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 now pull forward. Okay, keep going. Okay, stop, forward. That's it, go on. Keep going. Continue on Shore Road west for two kilometres. No, how the hell is this? We're okay now. It's like being in a car wash. more of an adventure than we were. Oh, this is gonna be hard to get up here. It's all right, well, you've got it. You've got it. You've got it. You've got it, just last bit. massive hole in the road. It's okay. That was the one with the chair in. What was that? First casualty, our bloody sink lid has just smashed. Oh God. It was the sugar pot. There is glass everywhere. There's the sink, RIP. What's really good is that, is that, that tempered glass, so it doesn't break off into um, like if you break a pint glass, like cut shot, like all, shards. Yeah, they're all really dull. And obviously, with the dogs, we need to make sure they don't cut their little paws. So when Chess was running down in front of the van, making sure, well, I say making sure, seeing if we could get through, she was armed with a rock. Chess is worried that she's gonna get eaten alive by a mountain lion, weren't you, Chess? Yeah, I was on my own down some like dense bush. On your own. I was there. two meters away you in a like, loud you van. Were, you were, I was out of sight of you. I was singing and everything. Oh, oh my god. Yeah. So that's the complete wrong direction. That's the road we've just been down, which is completely blocked and isn't really a road. And then this is the way we've come from. So we're just gonna head back the way we came. So the other one we just did. We've got. Okay. Yeah. Just go quickly. Oh. Okay, let's hope the way back is uneventful, please. Oh my God, this just looks like a normal road. It feels like a normal road, but. Should I tell you what? Those are my board shorts on the thing. They, I put them on the back of the, on the spare tire yesterday to dry and completely forgot. So we've been driving everywhere with my board shorts hanging onto the back of the spare Even down tire. the main roads? Even down the main roads, and yeah. It, and it's, they've, they've stayed and, yeah. and they've come off. I thought it was a dead animal, but no, it's been swimmers. So it might not have been the hike we had planned, but we did get to drive some pretty fun roads. Can we have a thumbs up for Ben's driving because you did absolutely you. amazing. Like, Held it together well. They were some rough, rough roads. And it just shows you what Sophia is capable of. Like, 
She doesn't really skip a beat, really, does she? No, she's really good. It's just really like rattling. Oh, Look hello, at that. sweet tarmac. Look at that. Yep, you're all clear. Ah, oh. good. Such an amazing job. God, I need to lie down now. That's tired I'm me really out. sweaty and hot from that. Like the adrenaline. Oh, yeah. Bloody hell. Well. Cup of tea? Cup of tea, I think. I'll yeah. make it. Mm -hmm. Okay, Ben's just been shouting at me from the banks. Apparently there's a whale or a dolphin thing swimming past. Oh, so I was keeping an eye out for the seal here, which I think is over in here now, because I just saw a head pop up. And then just behind it, just I just saw two fins come out like that together and go back down. This is going to be my view or dinner, isn't it? The back of your head, looking out for yeah. those two. Do you want me to be like this? <laughs> How are you doing? I'm good. So, another reason that we're kind of hanging around this area of Nova Scotia is because not only do we have parcels being delivered, but we've got a vet appointment for these guys. So River is in need of a rabies booster, and they're both going to need flu and worm treatment fairly soon, so we thought we'd get it all done at the same time. So that is where we're headed today. No, fingers crossed, major adventures today. We're going to leave our little dolphin watching spot. I haven't seen my boyfriend for the past 24 hours because he's been like this, out the window the it's whole amazing. time. It's amazing! Oh, there, so are, there, there was a pod of three this there morning. There are a lot of dogs, but they're so small and kind of on the other side that it's really hard to get on camera. My lens isn't good enough to like zoom in that far. So, um, but they are there. I took some video on my phone and Chess is going to put it in, aren't you? Are you yes. going to show everyone? You have pause it, zoom, whatever you do, but it was really cool. <laughs> when I was watching it back, Ben was like, there they are, and I like would literally miss it. I like, didn't even see them when you were showing me. It was really cool. Yeah, but your eyesight's not exactly 2020, is it? Who said that? Okay. <laughs> Got some souvenirs from yesterday's trip. <laughs> yep. Some more here. Some more here. That was a nice park, actually, wasn't it? It's very quiet. Nobody comes out here. After an adventurous few days, we drove back along the north coast to the vets. Making sure the dogs are up to date on jabs and medications is always a priority for us. A successful vet trip, River's Rabies is up to date and we've got all their tablets and everything so these guys are good to go. Now, I've got us a little place on the beach, all booked. <laughs> no, there's a little park up on the beach I found. Oh, this looks good. That's a great shout, babe. Yeah. We're probably going to settle in here now for the next few days, get some work done. So I think we're going to leave the video there and we'll catch you next week. See you next week, guys. See you next week. Bye. Bye. Oh, tree. Oh. <laughs> Bye.